Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brian Shanae. Today is Friday, which I believe is the 19th of November, which that means we are going to be doing the Brandon Sanderson 24 hour readathon. Now it was supposed to be last Friday, but Brie and I were like, maybe we should push it back to the following. So today we're starting the Brandon Sanderson 24 hour readathon which technically officially starts at noon, but I'll be training and stuff for my new position. So yeah, I won't be reading at noon. It mostly will be when I have reading sprints tonight, which will be at 7.45 p.m. And I'll be reading Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. And it's funny how, you know, we're reading Brandon Sanderson and literally this year, as we're doing the read along, he does this big announcement of his five pro of his projects, secret projects, which um they were announced on tour which they weren't supposed to release the um titles of the books they had a hiccup they weren't supposed to do that at all um so brandon sanderson had to go back and put his um put a story out on his ig explaining everything and how next time they do this they'll have them more organized and need to talk to the publisher and let them know like hey you cannot release the titles or nothing like that. You can tell them that of the books that might be released, but not the titles itself. So he definitely explained that in his IG. Definitely check it out. Uh, check it out. I know with the stories, they only last like 12 or 24, 12 hours or 24 hours, something like that. So you might have catched it already. Um, so he, you know, the the titles were leaked on uh, tour on a uh, yeah tour uh, their website, I believe. So there is that so me and Brie backed him so um from what I remember we will we will get the books first and then in April that's when everybody that's when the books will be public to the public so as we get as the backers get their books then the people then the public get their books so it's like a transition type of thing um but yeah I'm going to be reading Oathbringer today I'm really excited um I really enjoyed the second book a lot was happening a lot was going on there's a lot of connections um that me and Bree even thought about and were gathering information about as we were um having the discussion which I'll leave up above um from last month's uh, book uh, Words of Radiance so I'm really excited like I said I will I will I can't say it enough I'm really excited to uh continue reading the Stormlight Archives it's just going to be a great time um like I said I won't be reading it specifically at noon but I will be reading it for um, my reading sprints for uh, uh, later on this evening. But yeah, I'm about to go in training, take my uh, test and stuff, and then go from there. But I'll catch y'all later um, pretty much when I'm done with uh, you know my training and stuff for today. So talk to y'all later. See ya. Hey, everyone. I'm back. And it's the end of the um, end of the day. And guess what? I passed my test. Um, I did all the other assessments that needs to be done by the 26th. So I took care of all of those. You wouldn't believe how many assessments I had to do. I had to do like 20 and each assessment had like its own little test or whatever. So my, like, my God, but <laughs> all that is done is taken care of. I wanted to get them all done um, while I was on the clock because why not? I'm getting paid. <laughs> so let me be on the clock and do this. So, um, so yeah, so I'm heading home now um, and get everything together, see my kids and my husband, check how his day went and stuff. Um, then I'm gonna drop my kids off at my parents' house because it's their day to um, watch them or whatever uh, for us. And then um, and then I'm gonna do some reading sprints tonight. Um, and so for tonight, I'm going to be reading Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. Hence why today was the start of the Brandon Sanderson 24 hour readathon. So it goes from noon from today to noon tomorrow, but I'll probably uh, extend it just a little bit since I'm not starting until pretty much once I get home and I take care of my kids and my kids are good. Um, so yeah, I just wanna give y'all a little update. <laughs> I won't stay on here too long cause I'm driving and I need to focus. Um, but yeah had a great day it was fun I got to meet new people and new staff it was just a great experience so I'm happy I was able to meet everyone and take people's phone numbers and stuff to make sure if I have any questions or concerns I can contact any of them um but yeah I will catch y'all later and I'll give y'all more updates once I get settled and then go from there so check out later hey everyone so I made it home um talked to my kids hung out with them for a little bit I will be taking them to um my parents house in a minute 
Um, and, um, Hi. Out. Yeah, we know. We see your teeth, teeth have fallen out. <laughs> Get ready for um for us to go. Um, but correction, I said earlier this morning today was the nineteenth. It is the eighteenth. Um, that lets you know how my me recognizing what day it is of the week. I literally lose my day, my track of time and the days of the week. I really do. I'm like I'm like at first I thought it's Thursday, but today is Friday. And I even said that. I said, happy Friday. And I still said the 19th. And the 19th is for tomorrow. But it is what it is. Today's the 18th. It's Friday. Yay. It's Friday. But um, yeah, we're heading over uh, to drop off my kids. Um, I'm getting, I'm going to head back, get set up and everything um, for the reading sprints for tonight. Um, I'm not sure how long they're going to be, but um, it'll be uh, at least three hours at least. And then I'm going to go pick up my kids. Um, but yeah, just giving y'all a little update. I will catch y'all in a little bit. I have not read not one single thing, but that's why I have these reading sprints so that way I can read. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's having a great day. A happy Friday. It is the weekend now officially. So I hope you are enjoying yourselves or wherever you may be. Um, but yeah, I will give you more updates once I get back home, um, and set up and then go from there. See ya. All right, y'all. I made it home. Um, I dropped off my kids. Now I'm at home. I'm probably going to eat and um, chill for a little bit prior to uh, the start of the reading sprints for this evening. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. I like, like, I don't know what was wrong with me, but I just ran up the steps. So I'm like, whew, I'm winded, but I'm good. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I'm going to eat, relax for a little bit. Then um, I already have everything set up on my screen. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing some long sprints tonight because I really need to get into reading Bernie Sanderson, Oatbringer. Um, I don't want to be behind like I was with Word, Words of Radiance. So I want to get, get ahead of the game because what happened with Words of Radiance, I had to read into November and I don't want to do that with um, Oathbringer. I want to make sure I complete it and finish it before the beginning of December. So, yep, that is my plan. I will catch on a little bit and yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back. Um, I ate dinner and everything. Um, I'm all set up, like I said, prior to me eating and everything, but I wanted to make a couple of uh, changes to how I want to view stuff and how I want everything to look on my end. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to be starting... Oathbringer by Bernie Sanderson. This is a big old book, but I'm excited to get into it and to start it. Um, because like I said, I do not want to uh continue reading this book into December. I really would like to finish this in November. Um, that way my reading schedule that I have planned for next month it won't overlap. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to do these reading sprints. Um, I hope I see you all there and We'll have a good time. But like I said, I'm here for just trying to get my reading in. So there's going to be some long sprints. We're going to start with a 90 minute, then a 60, then a 45, and then end with a 20. There probably won't be a lot of talking in between um, because I know everybody wants to get their reading done. And I know I do as well. So yeah, so look forward to seeing everyone. And yeah, let's get reading.
good morning everyone <laughs> today is now it's the 19th um <laughs> i was having issues yesterday like figuring out what was the date of the day like i and then i was like wait is it friday or thursday so my days and times are all confused but i now know it is saturday <laughs> it's officially saturday morning um i didn't give y'all update after the reading sprints um pretty much after reading sprints i went to pick up my kids um uh, i took a shower and just talked to brie <laughs> uh, it was like till like maybe one o'clock in the morning and then we just went to sleep um but i read a total of 100 pages for um oathbreaker by brandon sanderson and i you know it's progressing you know dalinar has made Adel um Ad adeline or Adelin, Adelin, whatever, his oldest son, and Shalon, um, to, t to be pretty much the leaders of, um, of the Radiance and stuff, um, because, and to help them and to guide them for training. So they are the leaders for when more, uh, Knights Radiance come, um, come about and pop up, um, they're going to be training them and they're going to be the leaders. Um, and they have Renonin, uh, which is, uh, Adeline's, uh, you know, little brother, um, and D Dalinar, he has high expectations for his son. I think any parent has high expectation or any parent has high expectations for when it comes to their kids. Um, so it's really good. And of course, you know, I'm sorry, I'm giving y'all spoilers, but it, you know, um, finally, Dalinar and Navani get married. Um, and the storm father or whatever is the one that pretty much delegated the marriage. Uh, and they, he, you know, Dalinar took his oath and stuff with him. That's, you know, and that's uh, Dalinar's sprint. So that's where I am right now. It's very interesting. Oh, and also Kaladin, um, you know, the main character that, you know, was a soldier, then was a slave, uh, now was, um, he was a soldier then became a slave and then he became a then he became free um and he was in charge of Dalinar you know uh Dalinar put him in charge to protect his uh family and stuff now we're at the point where uh Kaladin meets his family after five years and you know he literally as the first time he sees his father and his mother he's like I'm so sorry about Tian I'm so sorry it's all my fault you know I don't know why you know it happened and they're like you know what well, we're just happy to see you because we thought you were dead so they knew about Tian being dead but they also thought Kaladin was dead as well for those five years um and just seeing him it just it brought a light back to them just to see that one of their sons are still alive so I thought that was refreshing um when it came to that, um, having him meet his, uh, his mother and father after five years. So, you know, that's a long time, you know? And so that is where I am at this point. Um, right now I'm heading to, um, return a couple of things. Um, and then I'm off to my massage. My husband, since like before the pandemic in 2019, um, he had, uh, one of my Valentine's gifts or whatever was, um, he constantly like I have a membership to a spa it's called hand and stone spa so I have a, a subscription where I can get um a massage or whatever uh hot stones massage or whatever because of the package that um he got for me so that's what I'm doing now I'm going to my appointment but like I said prior to my appointment I'm definitely um returning some things and I might get some coffee perhaps I don't know but how's everyone's Saturday going um, I would like to thank everyone, you know, that was joining my reading experience last night. We had a fantastic time, especially talking about our library cards and whatnot. And like <laughs> how we were like saying like, all right, we got Florida. We already visited Florida. We, we visited our residence in Florida. Now we got to hit up Boston. <laughs> and Elise just was like, nah, I'm going to stay in Florida where there's a pool. And literally, I'm like, I'm with you, Elise. I'm with you because <laughs> it's warm who wants to go to Boston right now <laughs> um but yeah it was just a fun time I enjoyed it um you know Brie was working um and Adrian went to see Wakanda forever but I I, so, I suppose I will see them sooner rather than later probably on Sunday because that's when I'll be doing sprints um Sunday morning so yeah I just want to give you a little update I did not want to leave y'all hanging um, because, uh, technically, like, the 24-hour readathon for Brandon, uh, 
Brandon Sanderson, it, start, it starts Friday at noon to Saturday at noon. But since I didn't really start reading Brandon Sanderson at noon yesterday, due to my training and taking my tests and stuff like that, I pushed it back a few hours. So mine necessarily won't start at noon today. Maybe it'll start, I would say, 3, 3, three or 4 o'clock. Um, 3 or 4 o'clock. Uh, because it literally after, like at 5.30, I have to go to work too. So yeah, I'm thinking like at least 4 o'clock I end it and then go from there but sorry my lips is a little dry I need to put some stuff on them <laughs> but um yeah that is my update like I said I hope everyone's having a fantastic Saturday um everybody's staying safe uh Thanksgiving is literally this coming week <laughs> in the U.S. um so yeah and I usually make my my uh sweet potato pie which I need to get the ingredients for like I'm really slacking like I'm not making the crust by like I'm not making it hand making the crust it's just too much work I do not feel like doing all that this year I really don't so I'm just gonna buy the crust where it's ready and then I do everything else and then put it in the in the oven have it bake and then be done with it um, I was thinking also making a Oreo cheesecake too, but I don't know. I, I have to see how much time I have on my hands. I think it, I can, I can, I can do it. Um, it's just having, putting it in the refrigerator and having it set is the main thing. If I'm going to have time to do that, that'll probably be the first thing that I make before the sweet potato pie because that sweet potato pie is easier to do, um, because it doesn't need a set or, or whatever, like a cheesecake does. Um, and I want to make sure it's ready, but you know, for Thanksgiving. So, yeah, that's the goal. Heading to do what I need to do, and I will talk to y'all soon. See ya. So got my massage done, um, did my returns and everything. Now that um, I did some cleaning with my husband um, for one of our accounts. So now um, I'm heading home. I'm trying to beat him home right now. So we're racing. I think he took the scenic route where I took the freeway. So I think I won already, but you know, who really knows? He'd probably be speeding. <laughs> So we shall see. Um, but yeah, I'm heading home now. I'm about to relax, um, then take a shower, then get myself ready for work. I was not able to read as much, but I did listen to um, Oathbringer uh, via audiobook uh, for a little bit. So I did get to page like 150. Not as, not the farthest I've gone, but that I wanted I've gone, but it didn't happen. So yeah, I really wanted to get to page 200, but you know, I did what I could. Um, I'll probably, I'll be reading some more of it even after the 24 hour readathon once it's, uh, when I'm done. So yeah, I'm about to head home, chill, relax, then head to work. So, um, probably once I head to work, I'll give you an update and then I'll end this vlog. So hope everyone's having a great weekend. You're all staying safe, staying warm, depending on where you are, because right now it is freaking cold. Um, no snow, thank God, but it's still cold as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, I'll give y'all more updates once I head to work. All right, y'all, I made it home. I got my shower, washed my face and did everything. And I'm just now getting my mind ready for work. And I think it's going to be it's Saturday, so it might not be too crazy, but I don't know. We'll see, but we shall see. It's only like four and a half hours, so it's not too bad of a shift. Um, but 
yeah, I'm really enjoying Brandon Sanderson and the Oathbringer. Um, I won't be listening to any more of it today, but I will be doing um, some reading spreads in the morning. And that's what I'll be reading <laughs> is Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. So I hope I see you all there uh, for the reading sprints. I believe Brie will be there too. You know, we miss her face, you guys. So, yep, about to get my mind right for work, head to work and yeah so i want to end this vlog on a good note um i did get to you know at least 150 i read like 100 like close to page 150 or whatever um i didn't read as much as i wanted to today but at least i got some reading done so that's a good thing and that's is better than nothing <laughs> so i hope everyone's having a great day and i'll catch y'all later in the sprints tomorrow so i'm gonna end this vlog have a great day y'all see ya